All right, so we're going to look at regions review number one, which is on volume and density. Okay. So you'll see a lot of the formulas in the classroom over on the sideboard, um, and that's one of the biggest things. So like some of the things you want to do with this assignment, okay. Um, the first thing I think is the biggest thing is no matter if it's multiple choice or short answer, write the formula down that you're going to use. Okay. Um, also, another big thing would be draw a diagram if you don't see one. And then the third thing, and again, you could put these all at the top of your paper. Third thing is labels. Okay. They're going to give you some numbers in the questions, most likely, and you have to put the numbers where they belong on the sh on the picture. Okay. So we're just going to look at a couple of the problems here, and I'm not going to necessarily give you the answers for all of them, but I want you to get started and understand what I mean by these three things. Make the whole assignment a lot easier for you. Um, one of the things you'll see in the first few questions, like question two, um, I talk about rotating a three-dimensional shape. Am I talking about a cross-section? So like with two, it says what object is formed when right triangle is rotated. So if I was to rotate this, okay, basically what you're going to end up with in this case would be a cone. Okay? Um, because it's spinning around, kind of like a revolving door you might see. So, if you are rotating, you're taking a two-dimensional shape and turn it into three-dimensional. So, you'll see that with some of the first few questions. Now we're going to go on and look at some questions that deal with shapes. So, like question eight, for example. Okay. So, question eight says, a hemispherical tank filled with water a diameter of 10 feet. Uh, they talk about the weight of the water, which we'll use later. Um, so a hemispherical tank is basically a sphere, but but half a sphere. So, and they tell us that the diameter is 10. So I'm going to draw, put the center of the circle, draw a line, and I'll label that 10. So the next thing I want to do is make sure I use the right formula, which in this case is 4 thirds pi r cubed for a sphere, because it's a hemisphere, I'm going to have to divide this by 2. And another thing would be the radius, which we need, but it says the diameter is 10, so you want to make sure you get the, or put the radius in, and the radius in this case would be half of that, which would be 5. So we would put 5 in the formula, where r is, I'm just going to erase that and throw a 5 there in parentheses to the third power, so that will help you get that one started. Um, but after you get your answer, you're going to have to multiply it by the weight to get how much water can be held in that full tank. So let's look at another question, kind of set up. Let's talk about setting up question 9. And again, no picture, but talks about a pyramid. Okay, we got a regular pyramid, which means that it's going to have a square base. They tell us what the volume is, and they tell us a height. So what I'm going to do first is write down the formula for volume of a pyramid, which would be one-third big BH. And we know that it's a square base, so whatever I get for that big B value, I'm going to have to take the square root of that. So the volume, they tell me, is 2,592,276. And we got one third, we got big B, and then we got H, which is 146.5. So really what you want to do here is there's there's a couple ways you can do it, but if you multiply the one third and the 146.5 together, um, or you could divide each side by those terms um, after you multiply them together or do them separately, but that's going to give you what big B is, and then because it's a square, you'll have to take the square root of big B to find one of those lengths. So let's look at one more together. Okay. So if we look at like 17, for example, a water glass, it's got a truncated right cone. Okay. In this one, they say the diameter of the top glass is 3, and the diameter of the bottom is 2. 
and the height of the glass is five inches. Okay. So what we're going to need to figure out <coughs> in this case, we're going to need to figure out the volumes. And again, this gives us a picture. It says this height of this glass is five. The diameter of the top glass is three. So three for that and two for this one. So what we really have is we got one cone here, and that one's going to have a height. This height will be 10, because we've basically broken this into three parts. So there'd be a diameter of one, and then the point. So like this will be double that height. And what we want to do is figure out the heights of this small cone. And then we want to figure out the height of the whole entire cone and subtract those. So you're going to have to use that formula for cone, which is one-third pi r squared h. And we're going to have to do it twice and then subtract the answers. So just make sure you don't get caught up. They tell us diameters. So like for this one, the diameter is 3, so the radius is 1.5. And then this one, the diameter is 2, so the radius is 1. Okay. So that'll kind of help you get started with that one. But again, if you see a shape, and if you know it's a volume question, make sure you write down that formula and substitute some of the values in.